three and a half years ago, this was the market from where the deadly COVID-19 virus spread and exploded across the world. It is Wuhan, a central Chinese city of more than 12 million, which is considered the epicenter of the disease, which claimed 7 million lives in the past 40 months. Today, the city is naming and shaming hundreds of debtors in local newspapers, demanding they immediately pay their debts and other outstanding amounts. Wuhan is in financial trouble and has printed a list of 259 entities with outstanding payments dating back to December 2018. The debts listed total more than $42 million. The article says the attempts to collect the money by writing to debtors had failed. Wuhan, considered the Detroit of China, is one of the country's several industrial powerhouses. However, Chinese President Xi Jinping's zero-COVID campaign seems to have exhausted the city budget. Wuhan spent millions of dollars on frequent COVID lockdowns, mass testing and quarantine centers before last December's policy U-turn. The real estate crash has only added to the woes as the local government relies heavily on revenues from land sale. Wuhan was forced to trim its budget by 8.5% this year, falling short of earlier estimates by a huge margin. According to a Goldman Sachs report, local city governments in China owe more than $23 trillion in debt, all burdened by the country's draconian anti-COVID measures. The majority of China's 31 states have already exceeded a threshold set by Beijing, which marks disproportionately high debt risks. Big worry is that local governments across China will have to make painful spending cuts or divert money away from growth-boosting projects to continue repaying their debts. Cities have been forced to cut heating to office buildings, shut down bus services and trim medical benefits to pensioners. These are reports of civil servants in cities like Shanghai having their salaries cut. All steps which analysts say will be the biggest challenge to the power of Xi Jinping in the coming days. Your report, Business Today Television. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.